So welcome all to this uh, afternoon session on coronal infections or a more scientific term would be microbial keratitis. Uh, I'm excited to see quite a few. Uh, it's quite a rare sight in KSOS to see so many people for KSOS for the coronal infections through there. Uh, my, I will introduce my co-finalists as I go by. I'll just give a brief introduction about the infection that is there in our part of the world. So infective keratitis or microbial keratitis as was mentioned about 20 years ago is the second most common cause of visual loss and it makes people really blind. About 6.8 million people are blind because of that and of which about 1 million people are become bilaterally blind. So if you look at the latest data from the Ministry of Family and uh, Family Affairs and Welfare and Health, you can see that among the most productive age group, that is from 0 to 49 years, corneal blindness is the most common cause of blindness. So that is the importance of this. But if you look at the standard textbooks, we see that uh, a lot of treatment paradigms are very different from what is practiced in most of the big institutes. So a lot of textbooks written by very famous authors, they suggest monotherapy, which is a big no in our country. I think in, in um, most part of the world, Western world, fungal keratitis contribute maybe 5 to 10 percent. Maybe exceptions like Florida are there, but generally speaking, it will be very minuscule number. But in a, in a part of the country, in a part, uh, we can see that the fungal infections predominate in a good, good majority of the series. And also the antibody resistance is very, very high in our country, you know, it's uh, the protoclonal resistance is anywhere between 30 to 40 percent, which makes that monotherapy is not a good choice for uh, treating a coronal infection. So if you get an infection like this, what do you think? So there is a somewhat pretty demarcated uh, uh, infiltrate with a lot of hypopion and an inflamed eye. You think it is bacterial, you scrape and uh, sometimes you see that it is, uh, we are in this particular case I found fungal filaments. So we cannot rest alone, only on clinical features alone. It is maybe true for uh, virgin cases, but it is definitely not uh, enough. Maybe for early cases it is still, uh, maybe it will give you some help, but real life situation is very different. A lot of people use antibiotic steroid combination, NSAID will totally alter the picture on the cornea. And what you see clinically is often a result of the virulence of the organism, a lot of host factors and polypharmacy as I mentioned. So uh, this is a prospective study done on 15 cornea specialists and uh, they were asked to categorize based on the clinical appearances, bacterial, fungal or parasitic. About 70% were able to do that. I'm talking about experienced cornea specialists. But if you want to look at the numbers based on the organism and all that, pseudomonas, only less than 50% could identify that. A similar, a similar thing is found in, a, in the IUVS article in which they compared uh, two sets of doctors, one from the Proctor Foundation and one from Aravind. And the, uh, the chances that they are right would be less than 70%. 68% in the Arvind group, 63% in the Proctor group. And this, if you want to see this genus and all that, it is not possible at all. It is less than 46%, which, which, which tells you that it is uh, chances less than that flipping a coin. So that is one part of it. The other part is that the human body has a lot of bacteria, viruses and parasites. We have about 1 trillion cells and about more than 1 trillion bacteria are sitting on us. So a lot of them are good, essential and protective. And we don't know, uh, some of them turn pathogenic in certain situations. And IE is supposed to be a uh, site in which the number of bacteria is less compared to that of skin. So in our session on corneal infections today, we have uh, Dr. Savitri Sharma, who is, who can be called the uh, Kuhn of Indian Microbiology. She is going to talk to us about practical management of uh, infections. Uh, Dr. Rajesh could not make it because of a medical issue and I will be covering his talk at least partly. The third talk would be done by Anita Jabbar. Akhandibiba keratitis would be done by, would be uh, held by Dr. Malik Arjun Haralgi from uh, Shankara Hospital, Shimoga. 
and surgical management by Dr. Madhu, a fellowship cor cornell surgeon in uh, practicing.